calculations of heat change based on uh, thermal chemical equations. The heat change in the chemical reaction is directly proportional to the number of mole of reactants that take part in uh, reactions or number of mole of products being produced. Now, what does this mean? Sir? For example, sir, let's take the heat of neutralization. Sir. Let's say we have a reactions between sulfuric acid, H2SO4, react with uh, sodium hydroxide to produce sodium sulfate and water, H2O. And then the heat of reactions, the delta H producer, is negative 57 kilojoule per mole. This 57 kilojoule per mole is per mole of water. It's the per mole of the water producer. Per mole of water means per one mole. Okay, it means that uh, when one mole of water produced, yeah, one mole of water produced, uh, then it will release 57 kilojoule. If we use um, this one, we use 0 0.2 mole, and this one we use 0 0.4 mole. So you see, uh, because this one, uh, uh, the the amount of sodium hydroxide must be two times the amount of the sulfuric acid, right? Okay, because uh, each sulfuric acid react with two sodium hydroxide. So if this is 0 0.2 mole, this is 0 0.4 mole, okay? How many mole of water produced if we use a 0 0.2 mole sulfuric acid, 0 0.4 mole sodium hydroxide? 0 0.4, yes, because you see, uh, one mole sulfuric acid produces two water. Two, sulfuric, two more sulfuric acid, four water. So 0 0.4 more sulfuric acid, zero, sorry, 0 0.2 more sulfuric acid, then 0 0.4 more water. Okay, or you can see this one, okay? Uh, this is two, this is two, means that the amount of the sodium hydroxide uh, is equal to the amount of water produced. Uh, if this is one more, this is one more. If this is two more, this is two more, okay? Since this is 0 0.4 more, this, is, this must be 0 0.4 more. So the water produced is 0 0.4 more. 0 0.4 more. Now, if the water produced is 0 0.4 more, then how much uh, heat is released in these chemical reactions? So we learned that from here, okay, this heat of reactions, uh, uh, when one more water release, uh, uh, so, or one more water form, uh, it releases 57 kilojoule, uh, 57 kilojoule. Then if 0 0.4 mole water form, then it releases how many kilojoules of heat? The number of mole of water form is 0 0.4, okay? And we from here we learn that one more water form, 57 kilojoule heat release. But in this reaction, there's not one more. It's not one more water form. It's just 0 0.4 more water form only, right? Okay, because we use uh, limited sulfuric acid and limited sodium hydroxide. Eh? So, uh, so we form 0 0.4 mole water if we form 0 0.4 more water okay then uh, how many kilojoules of heat released because uh here it says that the heat change is directly proportional to the number of mole so one mole 57 kilojoules 0 0.4 okay 0 0.4 we take 0 0.4 multiply by 57 and uh, it's equal to 22.8 kilojoules okay so you see as long as you know the number of mole of water produced eh, and uh, then you can calculate the heat released, okay? Because uh, the heat of reactions tell us when one mole of water form, 57 kilojoules of uh, heat release, eh? and the heat change or heat release is directly proportional to the number of mole. One mole, 57 kilojoule per mole. If two mole, then it will be uh, 114 kilojoule per mole, something like that. If you know the number of mole, eh, then you can know the heat change, right? Yeah, number of mole, you know the heat change. But uh, you need to know how to calculate the number of mole, right? How to calculate the number of mole. Uh, we have learned how to calculate the number of mole in uh, Form 4, okay? For example, in the topic uh, acids and bases, uh, you have learned how to find the number of mole of solutions. Uh, for solutions, so we use this formula, N equal to MV over 1000. Eh? Uh, we, have also, we have also learned how to find the number of mole of gas, right? By using the molar volume, eh? molar volume. Uh, the number of mole, this N is number of mole, eh? Uh, N is number of mole, uh, okay, something wrong, wrong here, let me see. I think this two uh, has been uh, changed already. Let me see the notes. Uh. Oh, okay, so uh, for gas, uh, it's supposed to be the volumes of gas divided by molar volume, uh, okay. Mistake here, okay. 
it's the arrow here. So this formula is supposed to be here, lah. This formula is supposed to be here, okay? But in the notes is correct, huh? Okay, in the notes, ah, huh? is correct. Okay, so to find the number of mole of gas, huh, we take, we use the uh, the volume of gas divided by the molar molar volume of gas. The molar volume of gas is a uh, twenty two point four decimeter cube at standard temperature and pressure, or a uh, twenty four decimeter cube at uh, room temperature and pressure. Okay, so we can use this to find the number of mole of gas. Uh, we can also use this formula to find the number of mole of uh, this one is uh, for uh, solid liquids or gas. Uh, okay, all three as long as you know the mass. Uh, so we take the mass divided by the molar mass, then we can get number of mole. And the molar mass is always equal to the relative atomic mass or relative molecular mass of the substance. This is some things that we have learned in form four. Uh, okay, just take this as a revision only. Uh, okay, you, sh you should have learned this in form four. Uh, because this topic, there's a lot of calculations involving uh, number of mole, uh, calculation number of mole, so, uh, so you must know this. Example one, okay, this one uh, looks like the combustion reactions, right, okay. This is the formations, uh, formation. so this is the heat of formations of nitrogen dioxide. So uh, one more nitrogens react with a uh, half more oxygens produces one more nitrogen dioxide and uh, heat absorber positive means that heat absorber the heat heat absorb is a 66 kilojoule per mole they want us to calculate the heat change when 0 0.1 mole of nitrogen dioxide is formed in the reactions that shown above so this is 66 kilojoule per mole okay per mole and for uh formations of something the heat of formation is uh, when this is per mole uh, per mole is per one mole of the substance form uh, per one mole of substance form means that uh, when they form one mole of nitrogen dioxide then it will absorb uh, 66 kilojoule per mole eh? okay but the questions are so if there is just 0 0.1 mole of nitrogen dioxide form then how much the heat change or how much the heat absorbed the heat of uh, formation is a uh, 66 kilojoule per mole Okay, but if there is just one nitrogen dioxide form, a uh, one mole, eh? uh, sorry, zero point one mole, zero point one mole nitrogen dioxide form, then uh, how much heat energy absorb? One mole nitrogen dioxide form positive sixty six kilojoule. But if there is just zero point one mole uh, nitrogen dioxide form, then how much the heat absorb? 6.6 yes that's correct okay it's a uh, 0 0.1 multiplied by 66 kilojoule so it's a positive 6.6 .6 kilojoule per mole so you see that's how uh, that's how we find the heat change by referring to the uh, heat of reactions and the chemical re uh, formula or the chemical equations uh, chemical equations one more 66 kilojoule if half more 33 kilojoule uh, but here we just have uh, 0 0.1 mole so therefore it's just a uh, positive 6.6 .6 kilojoule per mole eh? okay do this example two first okay there's already the guide here okay they give you uh, the guide here so this answer 131.2 kilojoule okay so you see first uh, first you need to find the number of mole of carbon because they give first the mass of carbon uh, okay four gram so if you know the mass the mass divided by the molar mass the, ma the molar mass is always equal to the relative atomic mass or relative molecular mass uh, okay so uh, four gram divided by 12 gram per mole then uh, the number of mole of carbon is one over three mole okay the heat release, okay, since just one over three mole, this is the heat release when there's one more of carbons uh, burned to produce one more of carbon dioxide. Yeah? Uh, this is uh, heat of combustion so because we combust uh, carbons. So for heat of combustion, it's, uh, it's a heat re release when one mole of the fuel burned. This is the fuel. Eh? So when one more of carbon burned, it released 393.5 kilojoule. Eh? But uh, this one just one over three mole of the carbon burned, so therefore uh the heat release is just one third of this okay one over three multiplied by this i think you don't need to include the negative eh? you don't need to include the negative because they want the they want just want the total heat release 